Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And I would say it's an exciting video, but we already know that it's an exciting video per the use, okay? But this video, I am gonna be trying some new products, but I'm really, really excited about this particular product because I literally just heard about it, and I don't know why they didn't do more marketing on it, but it is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer, and I am going to show myself using it a little bit, but I am going to do a different video where I can just really, you know, use my gift of gab offer that video because I don't want this video to end up being all about this, okay? So not only am I using the BH Cosmetic stuff, but if you follow me on Snapchat, y'all already know. So I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't follow me on Snapchat, that is where you guys get all the BTSs, okay? Behind the scenes, just saying. So I tried this, I was testing it out on my jawline just to see if it was a good match and it seemed to be okay. So we're going to use it. And like, I have waited a long time to try this because sheer glow, are things that I don't really like in a foundation, but I'm hearing that it's not really like what it says it is. And next, I'm going to be trying some of these eye pigments by Milk. This is not a new collection, but they have extended their range. And so they have quite a few colors. And there you go. Is that good? There you go. So out of all those colors, I decided to try the green one because I mean, St. Patty's Day is coming up and I thought it would be kind of cool, which brings me to Ofra. They have relaunched some of their metallic lippies and they happen to have one that is called Emerald City that is a little bit green. So I am about to come all the way out of my comfort zone. And today we're literally like playing in makeup. I don't know how else to say it, okay? And so I also picked up this Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep powder. Now I do have the original one and I never really did a review because I told you guys I've been working on or planning to work on the setting powder or under eye setting powder video with all of my powders. So I haven't really addressed this, but I will say that this is not the cream of the crop for me. It's very good, but it creases quicker than my other like, you know, faves, RCMA, Ben Night Banana Powder, but it's still good. But I must say YouTube made me buy it. I'm more excited to try this as a face powder than I am under eye setting powder. And so that is what the shade looks like. And it looks like it just may work for my skin tone. So I'm excited about that. And also Sasha Cosmetics sent me some products. They sent some powder blush and a bronzer, but the powder blush, I'm assuming you can use it as a highlight because it has some like sparkler things in there, little reflectors in there, right? And I don't know if you guys know, but I did not know that they had a pressed powder for the buttercup, but we're not gonna try it this time around because I am gonna be trying the Laura Mercier as well, but I am gonna try this blush as a, not a bronzer, but as a contour. So we're gonna give that a go. And then let me open this up. I did not, oh my gosh, that's very clever. Let me take that out. So it has, it's in a little compact, it's pressed. This is their buttercup powder. And it has a little flip right there or a little protector. And then that is the powder. Um, are you gonna cooperate? There you go. Press powder. ColourPop came out with this Nectar collection. This is called the Knockout, and it has a highlight and it has a blush in here. So I think I'm gonna use the blush today. Dang, I almost wanna use the highlight too, but we gotta use Sasha. No, we can use this as a highlight and we can use the Sasha Buttercup as a contour. How about that? I guess we're just gonna start off with the eyes, per the use. So now we're gonna go into this Cocoa Bear and I'm gonna put that baby in the crease real quick like. And this is gonna be a very, very natural eye because I'm gonna do something special with that pigment, all right? So I am just gonna blend it out. Blend, blend, blend it out, blend it all the way. No, I'm just kidding. So you guys know that I've been loving this ColourPop Running Late right here. Do y'all see the dent in there? Like there's, there's a huge dent because the love is real right here. So we're gonna use that as a brow bone. We're just gonna blend that out because I want this to be a really natural eye. So I guess I can let the cat out of the bag. I am going to attempt to just do like a really, really thick wing cat eye, whatever you want to call it. Because a lot of people don't want to do like this big um, shimmery or metallic type green on their lid. So I may try it like that too. But today I'm going to do it as a wing because that is just the idea that I had in my head. And y'all know, I don't really practice these looks before I do them. But that's the idea that came to me. So we're going to roll with it. Roll with it, roll with it. We're going to roll. 
with it. So I am going to attempt to use this brush, which is called the uh, Sigma Wing Liner Brush. It's the EO6. I'm gonna try this. I usually use this to do my little concealer on my units, but I'm gonna try this as a wing. This is Mermaid Parade, and this is what the swatch looks like. It's something serious. My camera can't even take it. And I'm gonna have to get this started off camera, and then I will show you how I'm doing it when I come back. Let's go. Ooh, pretty bright, huh? That's kind of cute once we get the lashes on, huh? I mean, live a little. YOLO. Once I pop these lashes on, it may give it a little bit of life. But you know what? I really love to challenge myself, you guys. I love to see how it looks in the end. Like, it may not look like it's coming together as we go, but in the end, I'll be like, OMG. I hope it has that OMG factor today. So now we're gonna go on with my IT Cosmetics Primer. Now we're gonna go into this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer, but this is the corrector, and I believe that they have three different correctors. I will give you more information in my other video. I will just show you me applying it, and then the rest of it, you guys will have to see in another video because like this video will be like 30 minutes, no lie. Oh, okay. It's really orange, Lord. That's a lot. I'm gonna have to blend it out with a beauty blender though, because I don't want my foundation looking extremely orange. Don't go ham like I did, okay? Cause then you have to turn around and blend it all out. Now, I'm gonna use this foundation. Oh my gosh, I thought it had a pump. I'm a little disappointed. Nars, what's up? If that ain't like my actual skin, I don't know what is. Like it looks like my skin. I also found an e.l.f. store nearby. So I have like a bag of e.l.f. products that I'm gonna be using in an e.l.f. Get ready with me. I'm gonna try to use as many e.l.f. products as I can. So make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you can get notification when I load it. Now, back to this. Let's blend it out. And blend it out. And blend it out. Man, that blends seamlessly like into my skin. And it looks like skin and it's light, and it's just like my skin, NARS. Yes, okay. But let's just stop here. And y'all know, it's not unusual to add more foundation. No, I'm just kidding. Now the name of this foundation is Sheer Glow. I do feel like I have somewhat of a glow, and I'm hoping that this does not last all day because I don't really like that dewy luminous look, but sheer, it is not. It is not sheer. I feel like the coverage is pretty good. Maybe they meant sheer in a sense that it's not really heavy. It feels lightweight on your skin, I'm not sure. It kind of reminds me of, I'm not saying that it's like the LA Girl, but I know when I did apply the LA Girl foundation, I did have to like pat a little bit more to get some of that glow away, to get that to, you know, not be so dewy looking. And, I didn't need a lot and I feel like you don't have to have a lot of this. Now I'm gonna go into this concealer that I told you guys about and I don't know what shade this is but I will let you guys know. But it seems like it's my skin tone so I'm probably gonna have to go on top of it with another concealer. Okay, so that looks like it's actually darker than my skin. This is nowhere near a highlight. But I am gonna go on top of that with my Too Faced concealer in the shade tan because I wanna be Girl, I want, I want the highlight though. I want the highlight though. I'm actually gonna set that with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. That's what we want, that's what we want. You see how that foundation just makes that wing pop though? Definitely makes it pop, I'm telling you. So I guess that's why people do their foundation first, but I just, I, t I can't do that. I have to do my stuff first. I have to do like my eyes and everything first because if I spill a little something, something on my face, I, I won't be a happy camper. I do not like using those compacts where it actually presses the foundation in. I'm gonna use like a powder brush. This is a Too Faced Cosmetics powder brush. It's from their Teddy Bear brush set, I believe, but I have a little bit in my lid right there and I'm just gonna go into it. And I am, usually I do press in my foundation, but I think I'm gonna try this way first. <gasps> oh wait, no, it looks like it's gonna be good. So I wanted to just brush it in because I wasn't sure how it was gonna go on my face. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be too dark or anything, but um, I think that's gonna be all right. Let's go on in with that Morphe E1 and see what happens. I wish they had this in press form though. So let's just dot a little bit over and then pat it in. Oh my gosh. That's pretty nice. This is the reason I got it, because I saw so many different reviews that were saying that it may not be light enough for an under eye highlight. 
but that they like it as an all-over face powder. And I think I do, but I believe this will help it set in place and not move because that's what this Laura Mercier powder is known for doing, right? Not too shabby, that's pretty flawless. So now we're gonna go into this Sasha powder blush and this is in the shade matte brown. This may be a little dark for me than what I'm used to. So I'm just, well, actually maybe not. So let's go into that. <gasps> Woo! Yeah, I don't need a lot of this at all. The only reason I don't need a lot to contour, y'all already know, like my cheekbones are already up here. So I don't wanna be like, you get what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna use a little bit. That's all I'm gonna put on this brush actually. But let's go to my favorite contouring side. That's all I need. This is pretty good. Now we're gonna go into this ColourPop Knockout set. It has a blush and a, I guess it's called a highlight or bronzer. Let's look again. So I'm gonna use that real peachy blush and I'm gonna use that highlighter. Woo! That's a, that's a bit bright. And you know what? Borderline, it can make you look a little ashy if you're not careful. Let me fix that a little bit. I'm gonna go into my MAC Sun Power right here and just make that a little more peachy. I could have used a deeper color too, but yeah, it's not in front of me at the moment. But I tell you what, I'm gonna swatch this with my hand first. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, that works. That absolutely works. I like the highlighter better than the blush. And as if this green liner wasn't enough, I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna use this Jordana 12 hour made to last pencil. It is in Tenacious Brown. You guys have seen me use this as a lipstick before, but I'm gonna take it a little further than just this, watch. So now, you know, I was telling you about that Ofra, the Emerald City. We are going to put that on top of the brown. And voila. So hey you guys, this is the final look. And this is pretty much what happens when you take playing in makeup literally, okay? But I just wanted to pop back in to show you guys the final look. So that is it. I love you guys so much and I appreciate all of your support. And if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up. And until the next video, you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Coffin, this is key. You know what I mean? A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean? Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty.